All right, so for this question here, uh, it says a vehicle moves along a straight path with a speed of four meters per second. A searchlight is located on the ground 20 meters from the path and is kept focused on the vehicle. At what rates in radians per second is the searchlight rotating when the vehicle is 15 meters from the point on the path closest to the searchlight? Okay, so this is very similar to the searchlight question from before, uh, you know, offshore. So a vehicle is moving along a straight path, speed of 4 meters per second. A searchlight is on the ground 20 meters from the path. So let's say this is the path. So this distance is 20 meters. And the vehicle is driving. Okay, so here's the little vehicle. The vehicle's driving on the path and the spotlight is following it, right? Okay, so we're looking for, I guess, the here's the angle at which the spotlight is following the vehicle. At what rate in radians per second is the searchlight rotating when the vehicle is 15 meters from the point on the path closest? So here's the point in the path. It's the closest distance, so that's a 90 degree. Okay, so let's write down some, some givens here. So the speed of the vehicle. All right, so let's say this is x here, this distance that the car is from the nearest point. So x prime is 4 meters per second. We've got 20 labeled down here. We're looking for theta prime. We don't know what that is. And we're looking for at a point where at x equals 15. Okay? How many of you got that far? You get that far? Okay. So were the, were the problems in... Where were the problems? The which? In the diagram? Okay. So did you have a diagram, something like that? No, I have to. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's keep going then. So how do we relate x and theta? Because those, the, um, those are the rates that we're talking about in this question. So how do we relate those? Well, this is a right angle triangle. That's opposite. This is adjacent. So again, that's going to be tan. So tan of theta is x over 20, or x equals... 20 tan theta. Okay, so now we have our x and our theta in an equation, and now we take the derivative. So the derivative of x is x prime. That's with respect to time, of course. So then we have 20 secant squared theta times theta prime chain rule. All right, so the, all that's good and well, except for we don't have any x's in this equation. So that's a problem. How do you put x in here? Well, you're going to use x to find out what theta is because you're looking for theta. And that's at the point where x equals 15. So really, we're looking for the point in this question where this is 15, this is 20. What's theta? Well, again, they're related by tan. So tan of theta equals 15 over 20. So the inverse of tan of 15 over 20 is going to equal theta, right? So jump on your calculator, go ahead and do that. Second function, 10. 15 over 20. Should be 0.6435. And change. So that's the, uh, that's the theta right here. That's where it goes. So then x prime is 4, 20 times the secant squared of 0.6435, and we're trying to find theta prime. So then you just do some isolating there, and you should get your angle. So just as we're manipulating this, uh, I just want to mention that when you have a secant of something, the secant is not on your calculator anywhere. You have sine, cos, tan. You have sine to the negative one, you have cos to the negative one, you have tan to the negative one, but you don't have secant, cosecant, cotangent. You have to do one over cos is secant. Okay, so in the manipulation here, I divided, um, I divided everything by 20 secant squared of 0.6, but instead of putting secant squared down here, I put cos squared up top, because it's secant squared is one over cos squared. So that's just going to make your evaluation a little bit easier. So theta prime then is going to be whatever that is when you plug it into the calculator. So 
0 0.128, and then of course uh, we're talking about what radians per second actually tells you in the question what those values are. So radians per second. Right, so that's the answer to number 14 there. Any questions?